trait is saying I'm going to be up and working at six. But then I lay in bed and watch TikToks for two hours. Okay. Also, this is the extent of my fall <laughs> decoration. So it's 8.30. I'm annoyed because my kitchen is a disaster. <laughs> it's all my fault. But my kitchen's a disaster and I was going to try to make a bagel and I was going to do this new thing that Bethany Frankel, who's like my new obsession, just said. And she cooks her bagel in the air fryer. And I was totally going to do it, but we made fries in our air fryer last night and I did not clean the kitchen. And my air fryer is dirty. Maybe I'll make it for like lunch. Not lunch, brunch or something. Because I have to get ready um, to do my volunteer stuff and that starts at nine. So, I mean, I can take a break once it starts. Like I can just take a break, but then I also have to do my makeup and I was going to do like my makeup like a little bit. Here's the thing. I was going to do my makeup like a little bit nicer because I'm going to podcast today. Um, instead of podcasting at Friday, just because I think like editing and uploading time, like then it will be up Friday. So anyway, I'm going to podcast today. And so I kind of want to do like a little bit more like nicer makeup, but also it's going to be so nice. Like you can already see, <gasps> it's going to be so nice today that I also this afternoon kind of want to take Liz for like a walk somewhere nice and pretty. Um, so I don't want to like go and like get where I think I'm going is going to be like on the water and it's like, and I'm, I'm going to be windblown. So I'm like, maybe I should just wait to do my makeup till after I get back. Cause I'm going to go, I think I'm going to do my volunteer stuff, which is the morning. I'm going to go for a walk with Liz and then I'm going to podcast. So I think I might just do that when I get back. But because I was going to do a little bit better makeup, I don't really have like a ton of time to like clean the kitchen and then make my bagel before the group starts. But if I don't do my makeup, <laughs> These are the things. <laughs> and this is why I should have just stuck to the plan and woke up early instead of messing around on TikTok for two hours in bed. I'm an adult. I do what I want. I'm an adult and it's going to be fine. It's going to be a great day, even though I'm late and have to clean my kitchen, which I hate cleaning my kitchen in the morning. I hate it. I hate cleaning my kitchen in the morning. I want to wake up and have a clean kitchen so I can make my coffee and my breakfast clean. Lesson learned, but it's not a lesson I'm going to learn. It's just, I'm just going to keep doing it. Um, also watching Vlogtobers and I'm watching my Amy from Happy Little Yarn. She got a yarn advent for October and it's Disney 31 Days of Disney Villains by Fangirl Fibers. And it's fun to watch her open it. I also have to drink a lot of water today because I got my vaccine yesterday, my booster. And so somebody said, drink a lot of water. So I got it at five 30 last night. Well, it was a little later, six o'clock and I'm feeling okay. My arm is a little sore, but I don't have like dead arm. Like the last time, like the last, the, the two doses plus the booster, all of them, I got like dead arm. Um, it's just a little sore and I'm feeling all right. I also got the flu shot. So I'm like hoping that I don't like get sick from the flu shot. I didn't get sick from any of the COVID vaccines. Um, I had a little bit of fatigue, but nothing extreme and I didn't get sick. So I'm not anticipating that, but I could get sick from the flu shot. I hope I'm okay. Okay. Bye. Okay. So I am ready to try to make my bagel. So Bethany Frankel said to freeze the bagel um, and not cut it. So I've seen if you're going to freeze your bagel, you should cut the bagel and then freeze it. And she was like, I don't know who started doing that, but don't do that. I'm just going to get my stand so I can put this down and take this bagel out. Um, so I had already frozen my bagel whole. So I was one step ahead of the game. All right, let me see if I can do this. Okay. Okay. Up, down, there we go. So then she said, put it in the air, well, she said, put it on air fry. It looked like she put hers in like what looked like a toaster oven, so she obviously had a different air fryer than me. She said, put it in the air fryer, <laughs> whole, okay? And she didn't say what to set it to, she just showed a picture. So 
it looked like she had 400 and then it looked like it was like already counting down from maybe 15 because it was like 14 23 but maybe it was like 14 and a half so I'm actually going to put it on 14 because I'm like nervous it's going to burn and then she cut it after it air fried so oh you know what my air fry has to pre my air fry has to preheat so we'll see okay so there is seven minutes and 56 seconds left look if you don't believe me I don't know why I just showed you like you wouldn't believe me. I did a little sneak peek and um, it looks a little- I may have cut dark. myself off. It looks a little dark. I don't know if it's done. Like hers looked dark like this, but it didn't look darker. I don't know if I should. I'm afraid to touch it because it's hot. All right, should I poke it? Poke it with a fork? Oh, you know what? It looks, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be done. I'm gonna be done. So I set it for 14 minutes. Seven minutes left. I don't know, what is that? Six minutes? Well, there was not seven minutes. I don't wanna see the tour of my kitchen. Um, my dirty kitchen, I cleaned part of it. Okay, so it was on for, well, there's like almost eight minutes left. So it was on for like six minutes and, and a little bit. Okay, let's see. Okay, I have you propped up. I don't know how to cut into this because it's going to be hot. So maybe I will take a, a towel, here we go. She said it's better than a fresh bagel because it's soft on the outside, but crisp, soft on the inside, but crispy on the outside. Ooh. Oh, dang, guys. Whew. Oh, my word. Oh. Oh, that's good. Oh, that looks so good. Okay. So then what she did was, I feel like this is a little problematic. So she scooped the insides out and she said, she said she likes the butter in all like the nooks and crannies. Like she doesn't like it just on the bread part and she ends up eating the bread later. However, I have her diet book, <laughs> recipe book, um, Naturally Thin. And I've actually made a couple recipes out of it. And it's very good, but, um, what the why I find that problematic is because in her book she said that there's some things that all naturally thin people do, and one of the things she said was scoop out the insides of their bagel. So I'm not saying I think that she's lying that she'll eat it later. What I'm saying is I'm not sure that that is a healthy behavior. Um, <laughs> it's not healthy for me anyway, and I don't think dieting and and um, I don't think dieting and scooping out the insides of your bagel is a naturally thin, something people who are naturally thin do. I think they're thin because they scoop the insides out of their bagels. I digress. You guys already know how I feel about that. Don't scoop the insides out of your bagels. It's toxic behavior. All right, I'm gonna try this. It's super hot. I put butter on it. Um, my friend, I just went on vacation with my friend and she used grass-fed butter and I was teasing her. I was like, eh, grass-fed butter. Grass-fed butter is so good. It's so good. It's so much better than regular butter. So I bought some grass-fed butter the other day. It is twice as much as regular butter because it's the same price for two sticks instead of four. So I think I'm going to go to Costco and get their grass-fed butter because it's going to be cheaper. It's going to be more expensive, but cheaper. Um, this one's okay. The one she had was really delicious. All right, let's try I mean, Bethany Frankel is on to something. Don't scoop the insides of your bagel out, but, oh man, air fry your bagels, man. And I know I said I wasn't gonna, I was gonna try to talk less about food. I love food, okay? I, I really do, I just love it. So, I'm not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. I love food and I enjoy it. And this is amazing. Do it. It is so nice out. Oh, I left this door open.
We are going for a walk. Um, it's warm, but I do have a hoodie on because you guys don't care. I don't even know why I tell you guys this. Um, I have one on because where we're going might be pretty windy. So we're going to Old Saybrook and we're gonna walk over the causeway. And the last time I did that was a while ago, but it was so windy. So I brought a hoodie just in case. We're gonna see how many people are there because sometimes it's busy and Liz is a terrible dog on leash. She's so reactive. She's a naughty, naughty girl. Roll the window down for her. And, uh, and we'll see, we'll see how it goes it. Okay. It is so warm and so gorgeous and not even a tiny bit windy. Like not even at all. It's so beautiful. And I should have brought a lot water for Liz. Oops, it's not a long walk though. everyone. I was going to hop on and tell you when I finish my podcast and show you the sweater that I was wearing because my sweater uh, reblocking worked. Um, so I wore it for my podcast. So if you want to see it, watch the podcast. Um, Lizzie is tired from her walk. I am tired too. I am not really feeling that great. I got this Starbucks thing and I'm like, oh, people are going to be like, it's that Starbucks. It's messing your stomach up. But also, um, I got vaccinated yesterday. Well, I've been vaccinated. I got my booster. I got my um, COVID booster and I got the flu shot yesterday. And I was kind of busy today. I got up. I did my volunteer work. I went for a walk. I podcasted. I cleaned the kitchen. I, you know, so it's like, I, I probably am just, I'm probably just tired from the vaccine too. So, um, so don't come for me in my Starbucks. Okay. Jeez. So now I'm going to edit. I'm going to edit the podcast. I picked a winner for the Save the Tatas Mal. So if you have participated, watch it tomorrow. It might be up tonight, but watch it. So you'll know if you won. Um... And then that's it. My husband's on his way home. He is also tired. He has had a long week at work. And so we're probably just going to chill um, for the rest of the night. Okay, cool.
she heard something. Have you heard that groan? It's the cutest. the best bronzino in the world. It wasn't like, I've had bronzino before and it was delicious. And this was also delicious. I wouldn't say it's better than the first time I had it, but it was so good. I wanted to finish it, but I also didn't want to finish it because I didn't want to be over full. So I brought the rest home. It was so good. <laughs>